The goal of NASA's Artemis program is to return humans to the moon for the first time in half a century. The Artemis 1 mission is expected to be the first of many as it will lay the groundwork, testing the SLS rocket and spacecraft. SLS stands for Space Launch System, a super heavy lift launch vehicle. I am just over the moon excited for the Artemis 1 launch. Their subsystems will ensure they are safe enough to take astronauts to the moon and back. The mission in question is expected to pave the way for other missions to the moon. After takeoff, the Orion capsule will separate as it reaches space. The capsule is designed to carry astronauts and sits atop the rocket during liftoff. On the first attempt, it will fly without crew as part of this mission, apart from a couple of mannequins. The Orion capsule will spend a few days maneuvering out to the moon before entering its orbit and hitting the road to return home days later. According to calculations, the mission will last for 25 days. The Orion capsule will splash down in the Pacific Ocean off San Diego on December 9th. Scientists involving the Artemis 1 mission will be able to gather data and test out the hardware, navigation, and other systems to see if both the SLS rocket and Orion capsule are ready to host astronauts. The Artemis program aims to land the first woman and first person of color on the lunar surface this decade. The Artemis 2 mission is slated for 2024 and it is expected to follow a similar flight path around the moon. But this time, the crew will be on board. In 2025, Artemis 3 is expected to land astronauts on the lunar surface for the first time since NASA's Apollo program that launched in 1961. But why NASA is going back to the moon? The US-based space agency says the attempt of returning to the moon is for scientific discovery, economic benefits, and inspiration for a new generation of explorers. That is called the Artemis generation. Would you like to see a moon rocket? Yeah! NASA aims to build a global alliance and explore deep space for the benefit of all. As we know, China has also conducted various moon missions so far. Additionally, the Asian country is building a space station. So the space race is accelerating again as it happened in the past. In this case, NASA wants to maintain its leadership in space studies. Doing this, the space agency will collaborate with commercial and international partners and establish the first long-term presence on the moon. The next stop is Mars. The agency says it will use what it will learn on and around the moon to take the next giant leap, sending the first astronauts to the red planet.